here. Look at that muscle. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brooke. It's Victor. I'm Victor. Um, it's been blowing a hard northeast wind for the last like week. Uh, so the ocean's really rough, so we're gonna stick to bass fishing. Bass fishing. And I'm gonna try out that new Savage Gear, that 3D rat that they sent me with the unboxing video that you guys have already seen, I'm sure. And Brooke's gonna throw a Sanko. There we go. Brooke's on. Brooke's on. Tell us about your presentation of the lure. Well, you see, normally I would say that I do a, like a little pop action with this thing, but since it's so windy, it's kind of just blowing across the lake here. We're in between the way of a woman and her bass, or you might get your ass kicked. See? Come on, be a nice one, Brookie. Be a nice one. Oh, he's pulling. Oh, he's pulling. That's a nice one, babe. That is a nice one. We tight. Good job. Ooh, he is nice. Flip him, flip him. Yeah, there you go. Brooks three, me zero. There you go. Good job. So all I'm doing with this rat is just a steady retrieve and I'm letting the lure work itself. You don't really have to pop it or anything or jig it or stop it. You just steady retrieve. So it's pretty easy to fish, but it looks so good in the water. There we go. First one on the rat. Nice. Yeah, he's really dark. It's, just, it's cool to see they actually eat this thing. You know, it's a different bait. It's something you normally wouldn't fish. It goes to show you that they probably do eat them in the wild. All right, so first fish on the 3D Rat by Savage Gear. Thank you, guys. Got him on. That was on that funky color. Yeah. I've this does not look good, but Brick wanted to try it and she caught one on it. This thing it looks awkward, but actually if you really think about it, this is the most realistic color for an earthworm. It worked. I'm pretty impressed to see how this thing swims so good every single time and it never gets fouled up. Like the treb never gets tangled in the line, it never gets wrapped up, it never gets wrapped up in the body. It swims really nicely. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yeah, not very big. What in the world? Holy crap. Brooke, tell me this isn't the most sickly looking bass you've ever seen. It looks like it's dead. It looks like a zombie. Have you guys ever seen a bass this black? It's like gray. Look, he has got a weak tail. That is really gnarly looking. He's got a bunch of growths on him. He, I didn't honestly didn't even know he was on. He kind of hit weird too. Have you guys ever seen a bass like this? Jeez. That is like, walking dead. yeah, seriously walking dead. This is a zombie bass in real life. We got him right off that wall. And you know what? He feels super cold. Really? Yeah, he like feels almost like frigid. This is, like his tail, I don't know how to explain to you guys, explain to you guys, but like his tail is super hard and skinny. What's it called when, you, when things get hard and... Oh, rigor mortis? Yeah. Yeah. He almost looks like he's got rigor mortis. He does. He's really sickly looking, so I'm going to let him go, but hopefully he lives. So check this out. So I got a Diawazillion TWS and it blew up on me within the first week of having him. So I sent it back to Tackle Warehouse. Then I got a Shimano Corrado 200 and it was working really great, but it started grinding a lot and it just, you know, just basically took a shit on me. So then when we were bass fishing with Paul the other day when Brooke was absolutely killing it, he told me he had this reel, which is a Daiwa Laguna and believe it or not, it's only $60. And so far it's proven to be really good. Um, 
for 60 bucks. I don't think you can beat it. It does feel a little cheap. It's very plasticky. Like you have your star drag right here is plastic. The line winder right there is plastic. But Paul said he's had his for like two years now and he fishes it in salt water all the time. And for a $60 reel that you can, a $60 bait caster that you can fish in salt water, I don't think you can beat that. Have any of you guys ever fished this? Let me know. So check this out. I don't have my GoPro with me because the battery's like dead, but pulled up on the side of the road to a new spot. Look at this stud. I mean, not a giant, but definitely a quality fish. It's probably like a six pounder. White horny toad baby. My favorite frog. Bricky just got blown up on too, and we just found this canal on the side of the road, but it's a nice one. I'm gonna let him go. But a lot of people hate what we do, but gotta let him go. Another one. Another one. Another like right around probably six pounder on the white horny toad. Pulled up on this little canal right here. And as soon as I hit the water, these are really dark fish today. They're not light at all. That's a nice one. It is a nice one. There he is. Oh, sick bite. Sick bite. I knew I was gonna get one at this spot as soon as I rolled up. And he's all lit up. Real pretty fish, guys. Real nice colors on this one. I love it when they got that orange belly on him. This is the frog he munched. I'm gonna include a link in the description box below, but believe it or not, this frog is a dollar. And it's a hollow bodied frog, and they work. And you can reuse them over and over again, which is the sick part. Look at that. See, just like that. If that was a regular soft plastic frog, no chance. It would have been game over. And this was only a dollar. I'm going to include in the link in the description box below. There's one. Sick bite. He was sitting in the palm fronds over there. Nice one. Woo. I love throwing into cover. There's another pretty fish. Ooh. And look, my frog is still good. Got him with the fang hooks. Oh, he's ready to go. Wily one. Come on, go buddy. Oh, he released himself. Oh, sometimes you gotta get it at the exact perfect angle that they want it or they might not be able to see it the way you're throwing. So just keep throwing in that same area. If it looks like it's gonna be good, like that palm frond right there across the bank just has snakehead written all over it. It's a good amb ambush point for them. You gotta think they're predators. So where are they gonna be sitting? They're gonna be sitting in cover and waiting for something to swim by and pop it. And then in this case, just like a frog. So, you know, there could still be two or three more fish in there. You just gotta keep throwing and throwing. You gotta make them wanna come out for it. You know, you gotta throw, and just get that perfect angle. Oh boy, something wakes over there. Oh, there's one, another one. Oh. You see, and just in this little area, in like what, a 15 foot span, I've caught three. Back to back to back. Let's go. It's another nice one. Slinging snakeheads today. Thirsty girl wanted it, swallowed it all the way. When I first started stinking fishing, I always made this mistake. You see how small that mouth is? That is a one pound large mouth would have about the same size mouth. And this snake head's probably three, four pounds, right? So when you see them wake on you, you gotta make sure you let them eat it for like one, one and a half seconds because they gotta really chomp it down. I used to make the mistake and just, I got excited and I set the hook too early. So slow it down. Stop it, wait for them to eat it, and then set up on them. And then you won't miss them. Now, getting the hooks out is going to be interesting. Because I don't know if you could see that, but they got a nice set of teeth on them. Finally got the hooks out, and believe it or not, this fish is barely even bleeding. And I guarantee you it lives even after all that. 
Oh, see, he just shot out right away. Those are pretty hardy fish. And by the way, the $60 reel prevails. It's working like a charm. There's another one. Jeez, this spot is loaded. Sick. Oh. It's another nice one. All right, guys, welcome to the end of the video. It's a little bit disorganized because it is footage from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Friday, me and Brooke went bass fishing, and that's when I caught that zombie bass, which was crazy looking on the uh, 3D rat. And then Saturday, we went and scouted for some new snakehead spots, and I caught three, but the GoPro battery was dead, and I didn't have it with me either, so I wasn't able to get the GoPro footage, but I have a little DSLR footage of that. And then today, I went and scouted some new spots and didn't find any snakeheads. So I went back to the spot that me and Brooke found yesterday and it was game on. It was like back to back to back. I was just casting across the bank and I caught those four snakeheads within like 15 minutes. And now I'm headed to work and I want to thank you guys for watching every single one of you. And if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to check out those frogs i'm going to post them in the description box below because seriously i'm so tired of wasting all this money on these soft plastic baits you know not to say that one brand is better than the other like zoom ribbit jds you know they all work snakeheads aren't that picky but it's just frustrating because you know every soft plastic is basically gone like every soft plastic is basically ruined after one fish but those hollow body frogs that i showed you guys that were only a dollar you can catch multiple fish on them and they're nice because they're hollow body so they're pretty much weedless so check those out all right till the next one guys later